I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> we need a fan. That's... Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. I'm Lori. <laughs> And I'm wanting a fan. That's what I was talking about when we came on the air. We need a fan on studio. Yeah, it is a little warm. Has anybody it? got, has anyone invented a quiet fan that no, makes no noise? I don't think so. I guess we probably won't get one on the studio mm -hmm. then. No. But today, it's going to get a lot hotter today. Um, and you'll see why in a few minutes. Oh my gosh. That's right. <laughs> yep. It's a hot um, one today. Yep. Tomorrow... Um, is actually gorgeous grandma day. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know they had the such thing, but it popped up on my daily email account. I have this account where it shows up all these weird holidays and everything. So it's good for a show like the chill spot. Yeah, it is. So, um, so what are we see what are the what's our audience looking at? Gorgeous grandmas? Yes. These are some of our um, NACA members that are actually, I don't want to say their name, but they are over the age of 40. <laughs> I guess I should say 50. I don't want to hurt their feelings. But I'm proud to be over 50 in what I do. But these are pictures of some of our members with their grandchildren. None of them will be me because I don't have any of those yet. <laughs> And um, a little bit about this day. It actually started in 1984. That is one foxy grandma right there. Yeah. I got to tell you, Celeste Billups mm -hmm. is uh, one yeah. hot ticket. She's, she is awesome. And um, it was started by Alice Simone. I think I Solomon. said Solomon. Solomon. Okay. And she felt society actually seen older women um, no longer useful are relevant to society and that's kind of sad so i thought we would kind of tie this in to um all of our gorgeous grandmas that so are did out she there that start are seeing gorgeous grandmas? yeah she actually did she wanted to break um the stereotypes that were out there for women in their 40s and their 50s so on this day um celebrate yourself Jeez. Women are having babies in their 40s I these know, days. I know. No more grandma status. That's that's true. Whew, that is I true. I can't imagine it. Yeah. So think about all the things. Oh, that was um, a pretty cute one, too. I think that was you. That was it? me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. That's my Brayden. Aww. He really likes helping take care of people. So I'm hoping that one of these days he can win that Anderson... Uh, Wendell Anderson, Anderson Bell CNA. CNA yeah, there. that's right. Yeah, I'm going to push for that one. There you go. Yeah. He's a doll. Mm -hmm. He asks you all kinds of questions, too, yes, doesn't he? Does. He's like, no boundaries. Just no Just whatever boundaries. the heck he wants to know. He asks mm -hmm. Grandma, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. And um, I don't know if um, some of you were at CNA Fest last year. You heard me talk about a little bit about my illness. And he is one person that has been there through thick and thin. He doesn't understand everything, but every time doctor's appointments and hospital visits and stuff, he was there. He was supporting me. So I know he's going to make an awesome CNA one these days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to demand it. There you go. <laughs> but Well, you know who will be taking care of you. That's right. That's right. So, um, again... Um, Thank you ladies for doing everything um, that you do for um, our other elders out there. And, as well um, as those grandkids yes, for crying yes, out loud. I'm yeah. sorry that I've been looking off camera, but I've been watching some of yeah. the pictures scroll yeah. by. And, and yeah. Uh, yeah. So be proud of uh, what you do because you do matter. Your age does not um, define you. It does not hold you back. Um, get out there and um, keep going. Um, the younger CNAs will look up to you. Um, that's a good way to bring more younger CNAs into the field by the older ones hanging around and being very supportive. Or you could be like my mom, just make your kids go to work at a nursing home. Yeah, that's true. That is there's true. all kinds of ways to get there but that's right you know what it's uh, there's so many it makes me think as we sit here and talk about our member Kim Rockwood 
-hmm. up in yes. Massachusetts yes. raising her grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And there's more and more um, of our members and more and more grandmas across this country that are actually raising their grandchildren yes. as their own for mm -hmm. whatever reason. And uh, my hat really goes off to those grannies. Yeah. Um, I see a lot of posts um, on Facebook that Kim does, and she's very um, inspiring. Well, she I goes really to a lot, a lot of groups, and yeah. she she's mm -hmm. uh, she really is. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the the one thing that we oh, I don't want to get into that. That's too crazy for <laughs> the chill spot. We're supposed to be chilling, not drilling. So, so before we close, um, just remember to take pride in yourself and um, shine bright. Um, today and um, love those babies and keep loving being a CNA. Yes, indeed. And you rock. Yeah. So uh, until uh, Lori and I come back, um, remember you matter. I get